Tonight on a special Home Cooked, it's a battle of the footy codes as the AFL and NRL fight it out in a barbecue cook-off. Who do you think's got a more delicate touch? It's probably the NRL. I've seen those scrums. <laughs> Julie Goodwin shows us how to create a sumptuous lamb feast. Look at the crust on that. Mm -mm -mm. Then two players from each footy code will try to recreate it in just 30 minutes. I'm getting a little bit tense. If you think this is a tough challenge, wait till you see who the judges are. <laughs> and welcome to a home-cooked special spring challenge. Spring's the perfect time to get outdoors and cook up a lamb feast on the barbecue. In the spirit of the footy finals, I'm going to host a challenge between the NRL and the AFL footy codes. And to help me host this challenge, I've got a special guest who knows all about deadlines, all about competition and all about style, international fashion designer, Henry Roth. Hi, Julie. How are you going? Thank Pleasure. you. Ah. For coming? Well, <laughs> I've been secretly really excited to meet you because the bottom line is you have become a bit of an icon around Australia in the kitchen. <laughs> I think we have one thing in common, and for sure that is we're both competitive. We're only as good as our last creation. You with your meal and me with my grace. So I think we need to team up here. Oh, I think so too. What have you brought for me today? Oh, look, I've got the beginning of spring. It has to be lamb, doesn't it? Sure so does. I have some beautiful lamb backstrap. Beautiful. I love this cut. Look how lean that is. Oh, it's fantastic. It's gorgeous. And it's a beautiful lamb rack. So oh. it's gorgeous, isn't it? So we've got some meat here. Yes, we do. We need some competitors. We need some brawn, right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I want to introduce you to um, the two sides. You're going to be really competitive. OK. On the NRA we have Jonathan Thurston, looking worse for wear. <laughs> Thank you for coming. And we have Mario Fennick. Hi, Mario. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hello, Hello Mario. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. On the AFL side, we have Nathan Thompson. Hi, Hello, Julie. Nathan. Hi, how are you going? Good to and see you. And Nathan Brown. Welcome, Nathan. Nathan and Nathan. Yes. Awesome. That's easy. Hello. Oh, welcome, guys. Thank you very much for coming. Here, Here is it go. for the AFL team. There you go for the NRL, NRL team. team. Well, so, while you guys are preparing, what I'm going to do is just check on our cooking stations mm -hmm. and on our guest judges. Good luck. Listen up, and I'll be right back. Cool. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Thank Henry. you. Good luck. Yeah, OK, guys, <laughs> work, I'm going to teach you how to make an entree and main. Then later, your challenge is to cook both in under work, 30 Henry. minutes. Let's start with the entree. Oh, Oi. wow. We. So we're Very supposed nice. to do that, right? You will do that. You will do it really okay. well. When Julie revealed the entree, I thought to myself, oh my God. What this is, is a really beautiful, simple salad with a marinated and char grilled lamb backstrap. And it's got a salad of rocket, pear, goat's cheese, and pine nuts. You know what? I cook a bit at home. Uh, but nothing too fancy. And when I saw the, the lamb there on the salad, I thought maybe that was a little bit out of my league. All right, that's, uh, that's our one. Uh, you boys <laughs> do your own. First of all, we're just going to marinate this backstrap. About a quarter of a cup of glaze. Excellent. You got that, JT? A quarter of a cup. <laughs> About the same of olive oil. Now, watch closely, mate. You're doing all the cooking, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do? Supervise? Just look good. Oh, I've heard about you AFL players. Yeah. Here we go. All, no, all nice so things, all we. nice things, of course, mate. Yeah, all nice things. Hang on. Very nice. Smush it around, gotcha. and we're just going to pop that. That looks easy, Julie. That's right. It's very easy. It's all very easy. There's no mystery to cooking. That's it's fair. just about flavours, what you put together, and what you do with your, your heat. So I'm just going to put this little non-stick fry pan, and that's a quarter of a cup of pine nuts. The salad is really straightforward. This is a nice firm pear, so what you're looking for here is nice, fine slices like that. So I'm just going to pop that in with the rocket there. That's lovely baby rocket. It's nice and fresh, beautiful flavour. Just run a rough knife through the mint. It doesn't need to be too fine. Now we've got all that ready. I'm going to cook the lamb and then we'll assemble the salad. That's looking all right. And you can take that off. Yeah. See, while ever you're holding it up there, it's not on the heat. Okay, so so that's going to take a bloody long time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice oh. hot. What oh, a good sizzle. So because there's already some oil on the meat, I haven't oiled the grill. It's a non-stick grill. I feel a bit relieved because I'm not a cook. And a, but this is not rocket science. It's pretty simple, isn't it? It's really? very, very simple. Well, it would be simple if you knew what you're doing because I had no idea. <laughs> Since they only have 30 minutes, the guys will have to prepare the salad while the lamb is cooking. It needs to be dressed with good quality balsamic glaze and olive oil. 
Then the shallots need to be chopped and combined with the rocket, pear and mint. So that's been resting for about five minutes, so it'll still be warm. That looks good too, Julie. Oh, Julie. yeah. Oh. Oh. Peckish. If you just sort of slice it down on a bit of an angle. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, oh. Now, we want this to look delicate, guys. You reckon you can do that? Who do you think's got a more delicate touch, AFL or NRL? Oh, probably, oh, probably, yeah. probably NRL. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those scrums. <laughs> bit of the rocket and shallots. Oh, that. On top, I'll crumble a little bit of goat cheese into it. Ooh, love goat cheese. It's beautiful stuff. Very Lay nice. your beautiful bits of lamb over the top. Of course, our lovely crunchy pine yeah. nuts. Uh, Thanks, Jonathan. Very good. Just scatter Did a well few of those. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing quite like balsamic beautiful. and goat's cheese. It's divine. And there you go. Tidy oh, up the plate. How good does that look? Wonderful. Lamb's oh, 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 Sensational. <laughs> Can we do it though? Can you do it? We're about That's to find out. That's the entree. But what has Julie got in store for the main? Oh, wow. We'll find out after the break. And later it's the barbecue cook-off. Are you nuts? Where the boys will try to recreate both meals in just 30 minutes. Get set, go. I'm getting a little bit tense. And the mystery judges will be revealed. You keep asking, I ain't tell her. Home Cooked Spring Challenge, presented by Spring Lamb. It's what everyone's eating this season. Before the break, the AFL and NRL players were shown how to make a mouth-watering entree of spring lamb salad. Very nice. nice to do that, right? You will do that. You will do it really okay. well. Now for the main meal, and the players will need to pay attention. This is different to playing rugby league, mate. Because they'll be making both meals in their 30-minute barbecue challenge later in the show. Oh, Say it again. Help. This main meal to me really speaks of spring. It's got all the vibrant colours and flavours that we associate with spring. It's green, it's got crunch, and here it is. So it's a beautiful barbecued rack of lamb with asparagus, wilted spinach, and a pistachio crumble. I'd never done a rack of lamb before, so when she first revealed that, I thought it was going to be very difficult. Okay, a very simple sort of a marinade for these lamb racks. It's a zest of a lemon. If you want to marinate something with a lemon flavour, you're best to use the zest and not the juice because the acidity in the juice starts to cook the meat. So when you go to get your meat out of the marinade, it's sort of grey and starting to cook already. To the lemon zest, the guys will need to add a couple of cloves of garlic, a little bit of oil and a twist of pepper. Now this is the crucial part. Once the marinade's ready, they'll need to spoon it all over the lamb rack. This will give their final dish a really delicious flavour that will impress the judges. Then, just set it aside to marinate. Next, they'll need to toast some pistachios in a pan and chop them roughly. Snap the ends off the asparagus and cut the shallots into five centimetre pieces. This is the crumble part, so about a tablespoon of oil in there. We're going to put okay. some breadcrumbs in. Okay. Let's cook that until it's crispy and nice and golden brown. That's beautiful. So you can tip that in with the pistachios. Oh, have a look at that. We're going to cook this lamb. Presentation will play a big part in the judging, so the boys will have to foil the bones so they don't burn while cooking, and then just pop them on the barbie. This to it. Mate, mate, that was that. <laughs> yeah. See, mate, we can do that. Probably Thank won't you. taste any good, but you can do it. <laughs> It'll take a little while to cook, so I'm just going to Seal it like that on each side. I don't think there's a better smell than the barbie. This is brilliant. So in all, these take about 10 minutes on the barbie. The thing I learnt most about Julie's uh, cooking is how organised she was. Uh, the way she was just there, had everything planned out uh, was pretty cool to watch. You don't so just can, stand here watching we, it. we, we got to be prepared. Get on with other tasks. For the shallots and asparagus, heat some butter in a pan, season with salt and pepper and stir for a few minutes. Then set the veggies aside on a plate. So this is what you're looking for. It's tender, it's quite hot, but it still snaps. Mario, they look good to me. Oh, very think, good, Mario. I think we'll take them off. Ooh, That's the I way. Like that. And again, I'm going to rest it under foil to give the juices a chance to distribute. Look at the crust on that. That's so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. 
Finally, the teams will need to melt some butter in a pan, crush a clove of garlic and add 500 grams of baby spinach. Then cook until it's just wilted. They need to be really careful here because if they overcook it, the spinach will go soggy. So I'll show you how to plate it up so it looks really beautiful. Yep. Remember, you've got to impress our mystery judges. <laughs> so you put a nice, neat little pile of spinach. Who's judging us? You keep asking, I ain't telling. Now, these are just some frozen peas that have been cooked. A couple of bits of asparagus. See how that just sort of lays across like that? And just a nice little pile, mm -hmm. like so. I think the thing I learned most from Julie and her demonstration was just the way she prepared the meal. A bit of effort actually went in. So I'm just going to lay those across each other like that. And this is our pistachio crumble. Sprinkle it over the lamb. Oh, looks great. And that's our beautiful that's spring lamb rack beautiful. main meal. Okay, beautiful. Terrific. How you doing? Oh, hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Big acorn. They did great. Yeah, they absolutely. Did great. Well, it looks like you guys are on fire and just in time because I fired up the barbecue. Oh. And after the break, stay tuned as we return with the great barbecue cook-off between the AFL and the NRL. <laughs>